for you on shore when you feel energized or when you're in flow. In this video, you'll learn how to start logging these moments so you can clearly see what works well for you and what doesn't. Real world data. So this is all based around creating a journal or activity log. This is where you can record where and when you're engaged and when you feel energized. Think of it as capturing your daily moments, the good times, particularly when you were in flow. Try it loosely first, just making notes on a daily basis until you get used to the process. Then you can start zooming in and putting more detail in from say week two. So things you can start thinking of are when you're in a meeting, was it the way you were able to articulate your point of view? and how people responded and understood it. Or it could simply be how you spoke to customers. Even if you've had a bad day at work, there, there have probably been moments during the day where you were able to get into flow and you were enjoying what you were doing. And it's these moments we want to try and capture. They will give you clues into the things that you really like to do. Over time, you can start to piece these things together. So first, try it loosely and just make notes when you can over a day, maybe five or 10 minutes at the end of the day. And then from week two or week three, you can start to think about get going into more detail and logging this as you go through the day. For example, did you enjoy the pro problem solving aspect of a meeting or dealing with a customer or client? Think about the specific things that engage you, the action that you were doing. Perhaps you were researching a uh, some information on the internet for your for your job role. All of these details become more insightful over time and can give you clues into what you really value and what interests you. It may sound like quite a lot of work to put in uh, now, but think of it like putting in the groundwork because you've got another 30 or 40 years of doing this. Once you've got used to this, you can start looking at more detail. So if you want to capture these moments in more detail, some helpful headlines to think about are what was the activity you were doing? What was the environment like you were doing it in? Was it a meeting room or a presentation? What were the interactions like? Were you doing it over the phone? Were you doing it face to face? Were you doing it over email? Think about the type of people you're dealing with. Are they clients, colleagues or customers? So this specific method allows you to extract insights from your observations that are tangible and practical. They'll be useful for you going forward. It prevents you from making errors in your decision-making process about what you care about and what you value. Sometimes you can write off a whole day saying it was a shit day at work, when really it was only a really bad couple of moments when the bulk of your work was actually quite enjoyable. Anyway, that's it for this video. Drop a comment below, and if you're interested in learning other practical methods to help find your way in life, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell as I'll be releasing a lot of new content over the next few weeks.